Like you said, if you've got a bunch of t-shirts you don't wear anymore, but you're having trouble parting with them, like me, uh, <laughs> don't give them away. Upcycle them into something you can wear again. Well, Trisha Saz of Parkville Artisan Studio is here to show us how to turn those old t-shirts that maybe you're not wearing into beautiful necklaces. And Trisha, I was mm -hmm. so amazed by what you've done here. You know, once I get started with something, I have a hard time stopping. And I saw this as an idea, and I started playing with it, and I had an absolute ball with these. Trisha, this is beautiful. It's just layers of artistry. It's, it was so fun, just just the simple simple mm -hmm. task of, of cutting them up and stretching them out and putting them together and then thinking, okay, what kind of fabulousness can I put on it now? And I just kept playing. It and was you super know, fun. crafting, that's also a great distressor for the holiday season. Oh my yeah. gosh, <laughs> yes. When you get stressed and you want to relax a little bit, yeah. You know, just sit down and start creating something and you feel better right away. So take your time with that. Okay, so I see a bunch of cut up t-shirt mm -hmm. bands. Yep. We're going to cut up a little bit just so I can show you how okay. to get started. Great. This is a t-shirt that I had. I think I wore this at my studio, maybe a painting class okay. or something because it looks like it has painting. We got painting. a little orange on there. Some orange yeah. on there. So um, you can use one of these handy dandy little tools if you want, if you have lots of space. A lot this of people. This is just a rolling cutting tool. It's just a rolling cutting mm -hmm. tool. Cutting, cutting tool. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're just going to make it easy because a lot of people probably don't have one of those around. I'm going to fold this shirt twice mm -hmm. and I'm going to so that I don't have to cut quite as far and I'm going to cut off that part that was a mess. There so we, go. we got rid of that and then I'm just going to cut strips. They don't have to be especially straight. The edges mm -hmm. can be a little bit crooked. Um, because I, they're going to kind of roll up. They're going to the roll ends. up. You're not even going to see that. I would I would go maybe at least a half an inch wide and I, put, I, I made some that were a little bit bigger but mm -hmm. they don't roll as well when they're a little bit bigger. And you know I bet with some of this because it's so avant-garde it kind of actually works if they're not all the same size. It really really does. I even had some shirts they weren't actually mm -hmm. t-shirts and they did not roll very well when I stretched them. So I got a question. Can I go uh -huh. ahead and start stretching this? Yeah. Okay, this so is this the is the part, part when we were talking about de-stressing. I'm uh -huh. like, this is just nice. This I is a know. nice moment that you can yep, take. Yep, there's no stress here. We're just stretching <laughs> our t-shirts. And see how cool? They roll yeah. right up. Okay. Um, and then it gets even easier from there because we're just, I'm just stacking these things up. I'm putting all the seams at one end. Here, I want to stack that one on there. So make sure the seams line up, yep. front and back. Okay. And then here, if you want to stretch some more, you can, because it's fun. You yeah, can, you can it is just, a lot of fun. It is, really. <laughs> you know, and you you obviously have made several different variations here. Mm -hmm. We're working on the simple one, right? Yeah, this one's just going to be the basic, um, you know, kind of the background to this whole thing. Yeah. So once you learn how to make the basic one, then you can pull out your craft drawer and you can find your beads and um, some string and you can start braiding some of the pieces and really start to have some fun with them. Um, as long as you know this part, the rest is easy, mm -hmm. okay? This is um, the uh, waistband of one of the shirts that I cut. Um, and I'm that means it was the very bottom very, edge. Very bottom edge of the t-shirt, yep. And uh, all I'm going to do is kind of get as many of those seams as I can mm -hmm. up here to one end. And I'm going to wrap this thing around it. And this too doesn't have to be perfect. This is this is fun. You don't have to stress Part about it. Artwork, yeah. yep. I'm going to leave a little bit of the tag hanging out there because once I wrap this around a few times, ooh, there we go, and I'm going to come back to that same little spot and mm -hmm. I'm going to tie them together. So there's not any sewing, there's no glue, there's no nothing. All you need is a pair of scissors and some old t-shirts. That's perfect. Um, and it kind of gives you this nice like rope effect. So you could right. wear it with a simpler dress, something like that. Uh-huh, absolutely. And um, really, you could even wow. dress these up. I put some special beads on some of these. And I they love really that. look gorgeous. She, she added in just a row of this elegant beadwork. Uh -huh. And it makes for such a nice piece. You could give that right. for a gift. Oh this gosh, holiday wouldn't season. these be great for holiday yeah. gifts this year? So I'm just tying those two little ends together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tuck those ends up underneath the um, the fabric that I put on there already, just so they don't stick out all over the place. And, oops, I missed one of the strings. There we go. Well, and then we have so a necklace. Nice. Oh my gosh, Trisha. Right? Isn't it just fun? That looks great. And of course, you had all the beads there where you can add them in if mm -hmm. you wanted to go totally ham. But Trisha, mm -hmm. thank you so much for showing this. You're welcome, Leave Linda. it to you to take a recycled t-shirt and turn it into a necklace. I love that stuff. <laughs>